Hey there everyone, I'm going to show you how to give yourself unlock tokens using a program called Cheat Engine. If you do not understand what this program is, don't worry about it, I'm not doing an instructional on it right now. Just basically follow everything that you see step by step and you will get these results. So um, if you want me to do something more explanatory or involved then I'll do that. I'm planning on doing that anyway with Borderlands 2. Um, but anyway for now let's get you some unlock tokens. All right. Now assuming you have some unlock tokens like I do right now I have 100 unlock tokens. Okay. So basically what you want to do is you've got your game started you've got Cheat Engine started. Now you want to attach the game to cheat engine or vice versa actually. So what you do is you click this button and you look for Poker Night 2 in this list that loads up. See Poker Night 2 right here. Double click it. Now you're attached to Poker Night 2. And because we have 100 tokens we want to search for an exact value of 100. Okay so basically the memory that this game is using is what this program is looking at right now. So this value of 100 tokens is somewhere in memory and that's what we're going to be looking for. So first scan, all right, 3,600 results for 100. One of these 100s, okay, is our token value. So what we need to do is use some tokens and then we'll run a new scan to see which of these changed from 100 down to whatever we have left after we spend some tokens. Okay, so let's spend 40 tokens right here. We now have 60 tokens. Go back over here. We're looking for a new value of 60. So then you click next scan, not new scan, click next scan. Bam. We're down to one result here. That's really good. So what you do is add that down to this list, okay? Double click the value and change that to whatever you want. Let's say 200, all right? Go back into the game here. This isn't gonna change until you leave the screen and then come back, okay? Because this number that's here is different than the actual value that's in the memory of the game. So go one page over, then one page back. And there we have 200 unlocked tokens. All right. So it looks like 360 is the most number of tokens that something is going to cost, right? So what you can do is this. Go over here, and so you don't have to do this. If you want to go ahead and unlock all of these, change that value to 360. And then click this. This locks the value so that basically whenever you go to buy chips, this value will not change, okay? So we go back in here. And then basically spend away. Yes. 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 See how that number is still changing? Basically, the number here is reflecting, you know, like I'm going to spend 35 here, okay? Now, that was 360 minus 35 is 325. Because every time we click this, it thinks there's 360 tokens in memory, all right? So 360 minus 70, that's the total we're going to get down here. All right, and it's just going to keep going like that. Now it's 360 minus 105. Now if we didn't lock this value in here, all of these, basically your tokens would be counting down and you'd have to keep chain, double clicking and giving yourself more tokens, more tokens, or you can just give yourself a boatload of tokens initially and then not worry about it, right? So let's just go ahead and buy everything, right? All right, so that's it. 
it says we have zero tokens, but if we go over the screen and then back over again, 360 tokens. All right, so that's pretty much it. If you want, this will unlock the achievements that you get for, you know, unlocking the chips, the decks, and the felts of, you know, one scene or whatever, if you don't already have those achievements. And that's pretty much it. So um, if you want to try this with a fresh game, then uh, I've linked to my other video where I show you how to reset your preferences. Um, really super simple. You just delete a file and you're good to go. So um, hope that you found this useful. Rate, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. If there's something else you want me to show you, um, then I'll do a video for it. I would be glad to. So thanks for watching. Take care.